So are you tired of Linux now and want to get back to Windows? In this video, I will be showing you the easiest way to completely remove the Linux and install the Windows step by step. So today for the demonstration purpose on my laptop, you can see I'm using the Ubuntu and I will be fresh installing the Windows 11 on this machine. Now before starting guys, make sure that you take the data backup here on your Linux only as we will be removing the Linux completely and fresh installing the Windows. Alright, so first you have to download the Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO, whichever you have planned to install on this Linux machine. I will be going with Windows 11, so I will search Windows 11 ISO download and click on this first website, download Windows 11. Here you need to scroll down to the bottom and you will find download Windows 11 disk image. Click on the drop down and choose Windows 11 multi edition. Click on confirm. Choose the product language and click on confirm. And then finally, you have to click on 64 bit download and the downloading will be started and you can see it's around 5.4 gigabyte. So you need to wait until it's all been completed. And similarly, like Windows 11, if you want to download Windows 10, then you can search for Windows 10 ISO download. Click on the first website again, scroll down. So here you can choose the addition and then you can continue the process to download the Windows 10 ISO. All right, so once you have downloaded Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO, next you have to download the Ventoy tool that will be helping you to create a Ventoy USB with the Windows 10 or 11 ISO and to fresh install on the Ubuntu or any Linux operating system. So open up a new tab and search for Ventoy. Click on the first website, download Ventoy. And here you'll find Ventoy 1.105 linux.tar.gz. So you need to click on this one and again click here on Ventoy 1.1 linux.tar. And the download will be started very quickly. And it's a file of around 20 MB, so it won't take much time. And once it will be downloaded, it will be downloaded in a zip file probably. So open the Ventoy folder or you can directly open from the file manager as well. So if I go to the download, I can see the Ventoy folder here and the Windows 11 24H2 that is the latest version of Windows 11. So now what I have to do, I need to extract the file of this Ventoy. So I will right click on it and click on extract here. And the extracted folder will be up. So this time if I bring up the Ventoy extracted folder, again open it. So you need to look a file here by the name Ventoy GUI x86 dash 64 all right this one you also need to look for the same one once you get it make a right click on it and click on run enter the authentication password and click on authenticate and the ventoy dashboard will be up now here in the device section it should automatically detect the usb if you have connected if not connect the usb that you want to make bootable usb and then on the right hand side, you will see this green refresh icon. You need to click on it and it will now detect your USB. So on my end, I'm using this Kingston 64 gigabyte USB to make it bootable. Now, once it will be selected, I just need to click on install here. I just need to click on install and click on OK. And that's it. And within few seconds only, the Ventoy USB will be created. And it says, congratulations, Ventoy has been successfully installed to the device. So click on OK. Now if I close it and open up the file explorer, so you can see the Ventoy USB has been created. The folder is empty now. And here only we have to add the ISO. And not only one ISO, you can add multiple ISO over here, like Windows 10, Windows 11, or whichever operating system you want to add. All right, so as of now, I will be only adding this Windows 11 ISO that I have downloaded. Okay, so once the ISO has been added to the Ventoy USB, now we are good to go to install the Windows 11 on this Ubuntu or any Linux machine. So restart the computer. And once you restart, the next time when the computer is about to start, you need to use the boot priority order key from your keyboard that can be escape F2, delete F10, depending on the manufacturer. So you can check that, that which key is exactly for your manufacturer. On my end, I will be using the escape key here. And once I press the escape key, I will be getting this kind of startup items. And on number three, it says boot device option, press F9. So I will tap on F9. Then it will ask me from which device you want to boot. So I will select 
USB hard drive Kingston that is on the second number. I will select it and hit the enter key. And here we go. So the Ventoi dashboard will be up and it shows up Windows 11 ISO because we only added Windows 11 ISO. So we have to select this one and then hit down enter. Boot in normal boot. Okay, I will hit enter again. And the computer will now be booting with this ISO. So very soon you will be getting this language setting page language to install. So I will keep both this to English United States and click on next. Select keyboard layout and then it says select a setup option. So I will choose install Windows 11, check the box and click on next. Accept the terms and then very quickly it will redirect you to the uh, disk option where you have to choose the partition. Now here also you need to be careful. You may find multiple disks in the partition here. So few of them you have to delete. Like disk 0 is the main disk of my laptop. And this disk 1 partition 1 Ventoi is the bootable USB that I have connected. So make sure that you do not delete or format this one or else uh, it will not go through with the installation. Rest other system partition and everything I will delete it. I will also format this main partition here because I have to fresh install the windows. Alright, so once it's been done, now select the main drive where you want to install the windows and click on next. Click on install and the installation of Windows 11 will be started. Now you have to wait for a few minutes here until all the installation process has been completed. Now once Windows 11 will be installed, the next screen that you will be getting will be like this, asking the country or region. Now after selecting this, it will redirect you to the page where it will ask you to log in with the Microsoft account. If you don't have, it will ask you to create one. And so it will give you many other offer of the Microsoft product. So if you want to continue with the Microsoft account, you can click on yes here and continue with the process. But like me, if you want to bypass this Microsoft account and continue with a local account without giving many permissions to the Microsoft product, then what you have to do from this page only, from your keyboard, you need to press Shift along with the F10 key. So press Shift and F10 key all together. This will bring up the command prompt page. Now here you have to run a very simple command that will be start space ms dash cxh colon local only. All right, this command you have to type here, then you have to hit the enter key. And it will bring up this local account page here and says create a user for this PC. So just type your name here, uh, pick the password if you want to pick. I recommend you that please go with the password. Here I'm bypassing it because I'm in a hurry so that I can show you. Then click on next. Now you will find it will bypass all kind of pages. Neither it will give you to a login with the Microsoft account or any other offer and it will directly take you to the Windows 11 page. And bingo, so now you can see we have successfully removed the Linux operating system and installed the Windows 11 on this computer. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this video useful that will be helping you to quickly switch from the Linux to Windows. And if you found this useful, please make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.